Welcome back, fourth grade. This is our second grammar video of the week. It does not matter which one you listen to first or watch first. You can do this one first, or if you've already done the other one, that's totally fine too. All right, guys, we are on page 51. We're going to classify the sentences on page 51. Remember, do not fill in the answers in your book as we're going through the video. Don't do it right after we do the video. Make sure that you wait a little while, at least an hour or two, before you complete the test on page 51. Otherwise, you're just trying to remember what was in the video, and I really want you to be able to classify these on your own without just memorizing the answers. Okay, I've written four sentences up on the board. We are in mixed patterns, and so I'll go ahead and tell you, one of them is a pattern one, one is a pattern two, one is a three, one is a four. So we're gonna have to look for those key parts Go ahead and remind yourself, what are we looking for? What are key parts? What are the key parts of a pattern one sentence? A subject noun and a verb, that's it. What are the key parts of a pattern two sentence? A subject noun, a verb transitive, and you got it, direct object. And then pattern three, we're adding an indirect object. So we have a subject noun, a verb transitive, an indirect object, and a direct object. And then in pattern four, we have a completely different pattern. We have a subject noun, a linking verb, remember it's kind of like an equal sign, and a predicate noun. If you've already watched your Latin video for this week, you already know that there is a pattern five sentence. If you haven't watched the Latin video yet, see if you can find some time this week to watch it. And though when I ask you in our Zoom next week, does anyone know what a pattern five sentence includes? You will know the answer. All right, let's go ahead and go through our sentences up on the board. Number one, my dad will clean his fish very carefully. Who will clean his fish very carefully? Dad, subject noun. What is being said about dad? Dad will clean. Clean is our main verb, which means will is a helping verb. Dad will clean what? Fish. Does fish seem, mean the same thing as dad? No. Fish is a direct object. And that means clean is a verb transitive. How will dad, I'm sorry, whose fish? His fish. Possessive pronoun adjective. He will clean how? Carefully. Adverb. How carefully? Very carefully. Adverb. Whose dad? My dad. Possessive pronoun adjective. Subject noun. Verb transitive direct object pattern you got it two period statement declarative sentence go back to the verb divide the complete subject from the complete predicate and that's the end of number one let's look at number two something might trick you on this one be careful Look at the beautiful centerpiece on the table. Who looks at the beautiful centerpiece on the table? You, implied subject pronoun. What is being said about you? You look, verb, at preposition. At what? Centerpiece, object of this preposition. What kind of centerpiece? Beautiful, adjective. The article adjective. On preposition. On what? Table, object of the preposition. The article adjective. Subject noun, verb. Pattern one, at the beautiful centerpiece, prepositional phrase, 
on the table, prepositional phrase, period, statement, declarative sentence. Nope, I even got tricked. I told you to watch out and I didn't watch out, period, command, imperative sentence. Go back to the verb, divide the complete subject from the complete predicate. Even when I said, watch out, you might get tricked, I still got into that pattern of period statement declarative sentence. Even adults miss things sometimes too. That's the end of number two. All right, we've had a pattern one and a pattern two. That means these guys are gonna be a three and a four. Let's see which one is which. This fruit is a delicious strawberry. The word is should already be jumping out at you. So you probably already know what kind of sentence we have. What is a beautiful strawberry? Fruit, subject, noun. What is being said about fruit? Fruit is, verb, is what? Strawberry. Does strawberry mean the same thing as fruit in this sentence? Yes, it does. That means strawberry is a predicate noun and is is a linking verb. What kind of strawberry? Delicious strawberry. Adjective. A, article, adjective. Which fruit? This fruit. Adjective. Subject noun, linking verb, predicate noun, pattern four, period statement, declarative sentence. Go back to the verb, divide the complete subject from the complete predicate. All right, that should tell us by process of elimination that we have a pattern three sentence here at the bottom. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. Can you see it? Yep, I think you can. All right. Jimmy and Joey gave their mother a grasshopper yesterday. Interesting choice of gift. Who gave their mother a grasshopper yesterday? Jimmy and Joey. Jimmy, compound, subject noun, and conjunction. Joey compound subject noun remember subject nouns can be compound verbs can be compound adverbs can be compound lots of things can be we have indirect objects can be compound so can direct objects all right let's move on what is being said about jimmy and joey jimmy and joey gave verb gave what a grasshopper. Does grasshopper mean the same thing as Jimmy and Joey? No, it does not. <laughs> grasshopper is a direct object. That means gave is a verb transitive. Jimmy and Joey gave a grasshopper to whom? Their mother. Lucky woman. Indirect object. Whose mother? Their mother, possessive pronoun adjective, a article adjective. When did they give their mother a grasshopper? Yesterday, adjective, Remember, I'm sorry, adverb. Remember an adverb tells us how, when, and where. This is when. Subject noun, verb transitive, Indirect object, direct object, pattern three. Period statement, declarative sentence. Go back to the verb, divide the complete subject from the complete predicate. All right, friends, these are your sentences classified for this week. Go ahead and look in your book at number five. Notice number five has blanks and labels, but no words you are going to unscramble the words that are in the directions for exercise one. So turn your eyes to the top of the page where it says exercise one, classify each sentence, unscramble sentence five using these words. Blazing, was, fire, very, 
the, and brightly. Make sure you use those words for number five. Make sure you complete page 51 by the end of the week and ask your parents to send it to me. Guys, I hope you have a great week. I am missing you more every day. We only have four weeks of school left as I'm recording this. By the time you listen to this video, we will only have three weeks left of school. That is just crazy. It's going by so quickly. I miss you terribly. I hope to see you soon.